yung idea ng paggamit sa la kundi bilang supplemental oh. treatment for COVID-19 patients. Oo. Uh, Lagoon B was uh, actually the first uh, herbal drug that was developed by uh, the DOST way back in the 80s. You know? And it is really a uh, uh, cough uh, medicine. Uh, it has approval by the FDA as a uh, uh, medicine for cough and related uh, ailments. And uh, so it has actually antiviral properties and uh, it uh, addresses uh, symptoms like uh, cough, sore throat, and uh, fever. Uh, so, uh, proponents from uh, UP Manila thought of uh, trying this with COVID-19 uh, uh, because they have the same, uh, uh, they can uh, uh, address the same symptoms, uh, cough, uh, sore throat, and uh, fever, uh, since uh, uh, Lagundi has uh, uh, antipyretic, anti-inflammatory properties, and uh, it, it can be a uh, bronchodilator also. Uh, however, even if it has an approval from FDA as a cough remedy, uh, if you try it to another ailment or disease, uh, you also need FDA approval again for clinical trials. And that is the reason oh. why uh, we announced that the uh, uh, start of uh, the trials will be August 1. Uh, because even if we have already approved the uh, funding for the project and even if there is already a uh, an ethics clearance from the uh, ethics board of UP Manila, uh, we wait for FDA approval. In case it will come earlier than August 1, then it can be started earlier than August 1. Uh, the aim of the clinical trial is uh, actually to uh, uh, see if uh, it can provide relief to a mild, uh, mild case uh, patients. So the uh, subjects here will be uh, those in the mild case category uh, because uh, if uh, you can at least address the uh, the symptoms like cough, uh, sore throat, and fever, that's already providing comfort to uh, our uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, patients. And secondly, it also aims to see if uh, with the uh, use of uh, Lagundi, it can lower the probability of uh, progressing from mild to uh, oh. moderate to severe. So that will already uh, hasten the recovery uh, process. Uh, so uh, the project uh, is going to be led by uh, someone who has been involved with Lagoon Deep from way back, Dr. Cecilia Maramba, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, very experienced yeah, in some clinical uh, trials. So we hope that uh, uh, we can get uh, good results uh, from this. Uh, this uh, uh, adds up to three, the natural products that we are trying as therapeutics for uh, COVID-19 together with the BCO and also Tawa Tawa. So, yung pong tawa-tawa yung BCO, ongoing na. Dadagdag din uh, ito. BCO is, BC, yeah, BCO is ongoing. As uh, I uh, I think I have mentioned this before, that we have yeah. two hospitals implementing uh, separate uh, trials. So, uh, yung, uh, yung mild cases, uh, the trials are being uh, done at the Santa Rosa Community Hospital. Uh, and soon we'll be joined by... Uh, Medical City uh, branch in Santa Rosa and hopefully also Quali Med uh, Hospital. Uh, we target 90 subjects, uh, uh, mild cases. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, so far, we have all, we have uh, uh, 20, uh, 25 uh, uh, subjects, and uh, this is still a long way to 90. Uh, but uh, with the uh, hopefully with the inclusion of patients from uh, uh, Medical City Santa Rosa and Quali Med. Uh, this will uh, Im uh, 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 improve the rate of uh, or the increase in terms of the number of uh, patients. Now, uh, actually, uh, out of 90, half of that will be given uh, BCO and half of that will not be given para control group. Uh, mm -hmm. The um, methodology or the protocol is that uh, each patient who uh, uh, volunteers and agrees to be included, okay, uh, we'll have to be tested, so we'll have to undergo laboratory tests. Uh, for example, uh, we uh, do not want patients with high, high cholesterol level or uh, some liver uh, problems. Otherwise, okay naman, uh, since uh, we do not uh, uh, have any uh, problem of toxicity uh, or uh, known harm harmful effects of uh, uh, BCO. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the administration of BCO is for in the case of the mild cases in Santa Rosa, is 28 days. Uh, 
uh, you, you you test them at day zero, you test them at day 14, and test them at day 28 to see the uh, progress or the improvement. Uh, so far, uh, the patients uh, uh, that have been taken in, uh, I, I think uh, uh, more, more than half of them have already gone home ano, and have uh, mm -hmm. recovered. Good. Well, uh, mild naman kasi sila, mild cases. Uh, but uh, we don't stop giving them the BCO when they, uh, even if they go home, uh, mm -hmm. if they have completed the 28 days. You know?